For annotations and measurements, we'll start with the annotations. Just simply press this comment button. It is the same button as up here if you prefer for whatever reason to use that. Go ahead and press here and you'll have an automatic list of auto text that will show up that you can choose from just by twisting this menu and pressing it down and it'll appear. Now it'll be in white if you want to move that you just click enter and move that and it will stay. Now you can also hit delete to get rid of that. If you want to type your own press the comment and you can just start typing it'll be yellow which means you can move it around and click set. Now let's say I wanted that bigger or smaller I can click on that again using the enter key and I can change the font size here also if you want it to appear in the same place you can set your home position here move it to the place where you want it click set so next time I'm gonna get out of the comments when I hit comment it will appear in that size that place every single time now if I want to go back and change a previous comment take that click the arrow keys backspace and I can type over that and make sure you click enter so make sure it's white before you do anything because then if you save it while it's yellow that text will not show up on the screen so right here, if I go back and review it, it's that text is there on screen. If I don't hit that enter key, that will not be saved on your image. Now you can also use an arrow here, and you can twist that and spin it, whichever way you'd like, and click enter. Now that one, unfortunately, does not change colors, so you don't really know if it's set. The only way you do is by moving this again. Press arrow again, and you have your comments there. You can go ahead and save it, and it will appear on screen. So we have just the comment and the comment with arrow. Now you can get rid of those comments by clicking clear and they'll all go off the screen here. Uh, if you want to use the delete key, go back into the annotations, hit enter, say I want to enter another one there, and then enter a third up there. Okay, so delete, we'll delete them one at a time. Whereas clear, we'll clear them all. Delete will just clear the very last one that I did. Now you also notice there are a bunch of text boxes down here. These are quick text keys where you can click edit and type in your own auto text. So if you use the same thing over and over again, you prefer to use your own, you can type in go with ABC and click OK. So now I can just use this and click ABC, click it, just push down. And if I want to use other ones, I can twist to go to text two, three, four, five and press down and that'll show up. And those are there on screen. Again, if you want to move them, put them there, delete, or clear. Let's go to measurements real quick. I'm just going to click on the comments again to get rid of that. Now, just in a regular imaging mode, I'm in cardiac right now, and let's say I've just got my image frozen and I want to take some measurements. Now you have your distance, trace, and calc. These, these two will not go to your report. If you just choose a distance measurement, and take your measurement. It's really only something that you would want to save an image and save it there. But one thing real quick, you can click here and say move result position. If you don't like where it's located, you can move it around and hit set. So that's just sitting there by pushing here and you can move it and click set. Uh, same thing with font size. You can change the font size of your measurement. And you also have quick measurements here you just click distance and you can get your measurement that way and you twist to say you know if I want an area how am I going to calculate it by twisting it and volume how many distances or lips do you want so I'm going to go ahead and freeze that so I can make my distance measurement click here I can do a trace by clicking trace and follow that around and I have my trace now again, these will just show on screen and it's just something that you would say for later reviewing because it will not show up on a report. For the reports, you want to go ahead and click Calc and this says Cardiac here. So say I don't want Cardiac, I can hit this Change button and it will flip through all the different calculations packages. OB, Vessel, Urology, Small Parts, Pediatrics, Carotid, and back to Cardiac again. 
to select my measurement, I'm just going to say I select mitral valve, and the first one's automatically highlighted. And I'm just going to take a diameter measurement there. And then I take the arrow, and I can choose my area. And this one is an ellipse. So I can click here and do that. Now, when I take this ellipse, I can click Update and move those two back and forth. And then click Update, and I can change the width of it. Update again. Keep going through there. And then when I'm done, I click enter. And notice that it also turned white, saying that it's saving. So this is how you would go through each measurement. And I'm done. See how it selected the next one automatically there? For some of them, it will do that. So we'll go ahead and just clear all those measurements. And let's go into a Doppler calculation. So I'll just go into Doppler, click Update. And so we have the auto calcs on and freeze. And this is showing my auto trace and the calculations. I can go ahead and hit Calc. And I can choose these various items here throughout there. And I can also make the measurements myself. By clicking, I just click aortic velocity maximum, go ahead, hit set, and I've got that saved right there. Now, another item here is when I'm frozen and I hit the calc, uh, you can go back through the Cine Review and change the frame from which you select by just doing the select frame here and scroll back through there. And then you can take a measurement from there. And next we'll get into image review, reports, and export on your Sonobook 9.